I mean, it, a lot of the country has been experiencing this cold, and now right. it now seems it's, like it's our it's here. turn. It's yeah. coming in. Just not, not quite, quite that like that. cold, <laughs> but, but not that far off either. I mean, this is the coldest morning we've seen so far this season. You know, the thing about that game that made me crazy was that a lot of the players didn't even have on long sleeves. I know. The game. Yeah. Bare arms. I noticed what that are you doing? too. What are you doing? Uh, here's a live look at Highway 184 in Banner Elk today. You can see a lot of slick and snow covered roadways. Not a lot of traffic. You can see there's a vehicle coming our way, moving along a little bit more gingerly perhaps, but uh, uh, conditions are quite slick up that way and uh, will continue to be until we get some good sun to help dry out and melt uh, away some of the snow and ice off that road. So today, though, we're not going to get above freezing, so it might be a day or two before that happens. Uh, temperatures this morning down to 14 currently over Guilford County between High Point and Greensboro, 16 in Burlington, uh, barely uh, in the double digits in Martinsville at 10 degrees this morning with some single digits out west. Uh, we have wind chill values as cold as 10 to 12 degrees below zero right now and could get as cold as 15. 19 before this morning was the coldest temperature the try to seen so far. We have a wind chill temperature of four degrees currently in Greensboro. Don't play around with this. Uh, you make sure gloves, hats, scarves on, on the young ones today. It's not going to be a very warm day, uh, especially if they're going to spend a little bit of time outdoors today trying to get to school. Uh, wind chill alerts in place already in place until noon on Wednesday. Again, 15 below is uh, the lowest I think that this can get this morning. We've already seen it get below 10 degrees below zero so far. Uh, extreme cold can raise hypothermia and frostbite concerns as that frigid Arctic air continues to pour in behind the front that brought us some uh, some wet and wintry weather yesterday. We got a pretty dry nation. Our next storm for late tomorrow and Wednesday, at least the energy is working its way in the Pacific. Now it has not developed yet, but it's something that we'll be watching. Temperatures today up in the mid 30s uh, for the tried and foothills and plenty of sunshine. West winds at about 5 to 15. Mountain temperatures in the mid 20s and a frigid day with those wind chill advisories expiring uh, at noon today. Our next storm starts to take shape tomorrow across the west. Tracking through our area, the bulk of the snow is expected to move through Kentucky, West Virginia, and Virginia. Our hour by hour forecast does bring temperatures only marginally cold by uh, early Friday morning. I think we'll see some accumulation north and west, but it likely won't be much more than an inch, maybe two. Lighter totals possible in our Piedmont uh, and border counties but we're expecting less than an inch and probably not much more than rain with some wintry mix uh, for parts of the triad. So yeah, it's getting closer. Or at least we're getting these opportunities. I know snow lovers want it. We just haven't had the right setup as of yet. Cold but dry weekend with lows in the teens once again.